I think I think storytelling in, in general and uh, and monologues as well is uh, kind of like a cathartic experience. So every time um, every time something bad happens to me, the first thing I think about is like <laughs> if it's funny enough that I could tell people about it later. I started writing for Pen Monologues my freshman year. Well, it's just it's so different <laughs> than any sort of thing you're going to see at Penn. We don't really get to witness strangers just being vulnerable at Penn. Everyone's like very put together in class, like, you know, with their Google calendars and their email, whatever, and to just sort of remember that uh, someone does have something really important to tell you uh, is great and like maybe it'll inspire you to like be vulnerable in front of your peers or like open up in a new way. Um, and I think that's probably the best thing we can do for each other um, to make this uh, like a more whole environment to be in together. It has encouraged me to like look so much deeper at Penn and, and get to know people at a deeper level and also be happy about kind of the transience of knowing that cast, you know, this one year and then, you know, being able to say hi to them later but have shared this kind of special journey for a few weeks. You have people who you've never met before, and you get to know um, very, like, sometimes deep and personal things about them very quickly um, because of the format of the group and the fact that we're all telling stories about our lives. And I think that that um, makes for an interesting community of people because you kind of get to skip a little bit all of the um, kind of trivial interactions that you usually have when you meet people. In my sort of grandiose vision for Penn, like everyone would participate in Penn monologues because when I hear people perform pieces and I hear their stories, I'm reminded that everyone that I encounter walking down Locust Walk probably has something similar to share and I think it's really humbling just to, to remember that. You know, it's a great way to discuss kind of these identity aspects that we go through, whether because of, you know, what we look like or our background or how we, you know, I guess, identify with. But so much more has been people um, like talking about growing up and talking about like experiences that have made them who they are today. What you end up getting together is people who have very little in common except being passionate individuals and people who are bold and courageous and are willing to go up in front of an audience and um, share their stories so that maybe someone in the audience hears that and can connect to it and can kind of draw strength from it. So I think the community, so diverse, people from English, from like engineering, from everywhere, but I think it's the only unifying factor is that people are really down to earth, kind, and like brave for sharing, I think. All we're really doing is just sharing our personal experiences and it's not really detached to any sort of group or political orientation and it's just about hearing what people have to tell you and I think that's really rare to find that um, in other spaces at Penn and I think that's why Penn Monologues is really important for this community. It's also really fun. <laughs> so I, like, I, I encourage people to do it just in that aspect. It's so much fun to be up on stage and have people listening to you and, and get to get to talk to them and know that they're really hearing it.